One of the Chicago businesses that was hit by looters is Pauline Books and Media. The bookstore is run by the Daughters of St. Paul. Sister Tracy Dugas is one of them and was there when the shop was broken into. She joins us now. And Sister Tracy, first off, we're glad you and the other sisters are okay. Please describe for us what happened on Saturday night. Where were you and the rest of the sisters? What did you see? What did you hear? It must have been really scary. Yeah, well, we, um, we were kind of clued in by some of our friends who live up the street on Michigan Avenue, letting us know that the protesting was no longer just about protesting. It was turning into riots and some looting and some burning. So we were aware um, that the, there was that possibility. Mm -hmm. We found that um, at first, what started out as uh, they, we, our alarm went off at about 11 o'clock at night. Um, we, the way we're set up is that our book and media center, our place of ministry is the first floor and then the convent is above. Okay. So okay. that is uh, basically our residence. And around 11, our glass alarm went off, which told us that they were breaking glass. Mm -hmm. And um, at that point, you don't know, you know, if, it, if they're in the building or not. So we just kind of kept vigil all night, um, staying awake and obviously seeing everything that was happening on Michigan Avenue. And it was very disturbing because when you get down to it, all I really witnessed was uh, destruction. Mm -hmm. Like they were really intent on destroying what they set out to destroy and also to steal. And so we were pretty much prepared for the worst, but our main concern was staying safe. Um, ultimately, when we were up in the morning and we went down, we saw that they had um, gotten in and they took uh, the offering uh, cash that we had. Mm -hmm. um, but uh -huh. as far as the items in the book center um, and the, especially the Blessed Sacrament, that was all intact. If uh -huh. they took books, uh, we hope they read them. <laughs> <laughs> Something good to come out of that, right? Um, uh, sister, yeah. many small businesses are being targeted by looters, many which have already taken a hit during the pandemic. Talk about the economic toll the protests, protests and the pandemic are having on your business and others. Oh, it's a great toll. Mm -hmm. It's a great toll. And, um, you know, we are a missionary organization anyway. And so um, we we know how difficult it is to to have small quote unquote businesses uh, already. Mm -hmm. And so this is an added uh, layer and dimension of that difficulty. Um, but we also know and believe in the, the American ingenuity and the fact that we, you know, just human ingenuity and our capacity to gather together as community and help each other out. So we, you know, we're taking it one day at a time. Um, and we are very grateful for so, so many people who have helped us. Uh, one of the tweets that it seems to go, it has gone pretty far, is the picture that we took with the friends that we met um, the next morning, yesterday morning, to clean. And um, I have a feeling those friendships are going to really last. Really quickly, what do you think about these protests that are going on? I feel that um, the, the, the idea of protesting what they were setting out to protest, racism, uh, you know, just inequality and injustice is a worthy um, issue that we all need to be reflecting on and changing uh, our behaviors if they reflect prejudice. Um, but at this point, what I observed with my own eyes is that it wasn't constructive what mm -hmm. was happening. The objective was destruction. And so that's where um, this has changed. It's, it's something else now. And I believe that it's something that we do have to address and say, what is it that, what kind of society are we building? All right, Sister Tracy with the Daughters of St. Paul, thanks for speaking with us today. Glad you're safe. Thank you. And you can help the nuns. There's a lot of work and expenses ahead of them as they rebuild their ministry. To make a gift, go to donate.daughtersofstpaul.com. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.